Ooh. All right, I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod with another tutorial. Today I have JJ Abrams' favorite filter for you. You're gonna love this. It's called Streaks. Oh, come on, grab it. And look what it does lens flare galore. Ha. Isn't that great? Now you know why I said it was JJ Abrams' favorite filter. Okay. So basically what this does is throw streaks on the highlights and make them spread all the way across your screen or as much as possible. You have an amount, obviously it's going to take it to 100 or nothing and kind of give you a blend, but this is different than the other blends. Usually the blends give you kind of a, kind of an opacity overlay, if you would. But this one, if you notice, actually makes the streaks get longer yet the center doesn't really gain that much. So this affects the actual filter in a different way than, than the other ones do, than, than the amount does on the other filters. All right, thickness, the thickness of the streaks. Oh yeah, those are some thick streaks. You can kind of see what that does. Threshold is going to adjust where the streaks are as far as lightness goes. You get too low and you get the entire thing. But see, you can see this bad boy right here isn't all that shiny and neither is this Chevy. But if I bring that threshold down, all of a sudden I've got streaks on this white bumper. Nah. Glow. This is going to kind of blur it or sharpen the, the lines. If I bring that threshold down, you'll see how sharp those lines are the whole time. And then if I bring that glow up, it's going to blur them and it's going to add white to the shiny areas. Variation is going to distort the streaks a bit. I believe it animates them as well. And if I turn that variation down, you shouldn't see as much jumping around. Yeah, it doesn't jump around as much. The variation kind of allows it to cycle through and do some different things. Angle. So let's say you're doing something as if you're pretending you're underwater. This would be really good for that because it shows the caustics of the light coming through the water. Just an example. I mean, you could really set this up to, to do something like that. And then color, obviously. Most people are going to stick with the shiny blue, but you can also go to red or green, or yellow, or magenta. And the darker you make the color, the less color is going to appear. The brighter you make it, it's just going to be full of color. Let's bring that threshold up a bit and show the difference between the dark. Notice how the hue of the color does not change. Neither does the value. Actually, no. The saturation. The saturation and the hue of this color do not change, but the value does. Or it does it. No, it's really just kind of the amount of the streak. Yeah, because the color doesn't change in any way. So there you go. That was J.J. Abrams' favorite filter, Streaks. <laughs> I should apply it to everything, just, just by default. Just throw it in here and let you see the entire mix of clips with that filter in it. <laughs> it's got a streak on the step stool. Poor Rachel. She's being transported by aliens. This clip actually looks kind of cool with the streaks. I'm okay with it. No. Uh-uh. Not at all. Looks like we're about to be destroyed. This one's all right with the streaks as well. All right, we just made a J.J. Abrams movie. All right. <laughs> uh, that's awful. All right, so that was the streaks filter. Next, we'll go over the stencil filter. I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod. Click that button. You know, make stuff happen because it's just fun. And I thank you very much for watching.